everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to more ink sprays and more cards. This time we are playing with some new releases from Spellbinders. Uh, there are so many amazing releases that just uh, came out on the shop. And stick with me till the end because I'm going to have a sneak peek at something that I'm working on with uh, some of the adorable winter and Christmas themed goodies. But we are going to start this video out with some more ink sprayed panels. If you didn't catch my last video, I will have a link to that at the end of this one. Um, I'll have a link below as well. Now these are Dilutions ink sprays. I played with these in the last video. These are very bright, uh, water reactive ink sprays. And here I am adding a bunch of water. Now in my last video, I was really just kind of showing you all of the different ink sprays in my stash uh, and using kind of a rainbow of colors and just kind of letting the inks do what they do. But today I'm going to show you what I like doing and that is just making kind of simple dreamy backgrounds and you'll see that I add a lot of water and I can tilt the paper the way that I want to tilt it to get the colors to run kind of where I want them to run. All right, so here is a second panel and I have all the ink colors listed. Now on this one, I'm actually gonna bring in some Distress Spray. I think this is Broken China. Uh, now Distress Spray Stains and Dilution sprays are very similar. They're both water reactive. Um, they're both made from Ranger. They, they work really well together. So again, I just added a lot of water and just tilting the paper to get that dreamy little effect there. So here are the two panels all dry. Now we are not going to be using these today. Uh, we are going to be using the two on the right. So this one right here, and then that bright colorful one in the middle. And this one on the left is what I used for that castle card in my last video. Speaking of my last video, I mentioned that I wasn't including shimmer sprays uh, in that video. I had so many sprays and I mentioned that I wasn't including any of my shimmer sprays, but here, Here's the new Distress Spritz, and this was Twisted Citron. Uh, now it's hard to see the shimmer on camera, but I will be using part of this panel for the cards today. All right, we are going to hot foil. This is the spider web background, and this is actually a better press plate. Here's that panel, and I trimmed it all down. I'm using black opaque hot foil for, for all of my foiling today. And I have the plate down on my glimmer machine and then I'm putting the foil and my paper on top. Now, I, I know there's a common belief that foiling only works on smooth paper, but you might remember last month when I foiled on glitter paper and how amazing that turned out. And now today I'm foiling on some pretty heavy paper that is also ever so slightly warped. And here you can see it worked. Now I have a little bit of overfoiling in, in some spots and I'll show you how I get rid of that. Here's the pumpkin and ghosts background. Again, this is a better press plate and I've mentioned before, I hot foil with my better press plates. And here's that second panel and we got just a perfect, beautiful foiling. Again, with the black opaque foil. Here is an old paintbrush in my stash. And this is how I get overfoiling off of my panels. You just run the paintbrush over the parts that have too much foil on them and it comes right off. All right, now while I had my glimmer machine out, I decided I was gonna foil a bunch of sentiments. These are the All Seasons Better Press Plates and Matching Dyes. I happen to have the Autumn one on the left and the Winter on the right. And here's what it looks like when you hot foil them, or if you have a better press, if you ink them up. And then you just take that one die and it, it cuts all of them out at once. 
Now here on the left are the Christmas sentiments and the one on the right in my hand, this is the Cheers sentiments set. Again, these are all better press plates and there's matching dies and we will be using that one on the right for a card today. Now here are three more. The one on the top left is the friends. The one on the top right is the magic. And I think the one on the bottom is the family set. And there are so many more sets. These were all released uh, today, yesterday, um, in the Spellbinders shop. Now here are the olive martinis. This is going to be a popular set. And here is that, uh, I cut this from that panel that I sprayed with the Distress Spritz. And that's going to be the little drink in this martini glass. Um, this is the booze cocktail. So all of this Halloween stuff, like this little base, the witch's feet is from the booze cocktail set and this hat as well. Now the hat I cut from this pop-up glitter foam sheet. This is a pack of black and white and I used the black for the witch's hat. And I'm kind of jumping around cause I'm doing two cards at once. This is the woofer treat set. That's what's going to be on the card on the left. And you'll see the little ghost on the left. And I'm just shading the little dog parts with some Lost Shadow Distress Ink. And now I'm going to come in with some Pumice Stone, which just adds a tiny bit of brown tint to that color. And just simple ink blending just to get the little doggy parts a little bit darker than the ghost sheet and by the way the ghost sheet I cut out I had originally just cut it from plain white but I did cut it out of that white pop-up glitter foam just to add a little bit of extra 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 all right these are the perfect touch rectangles uh, you can see the border on this panel there are seven dies in this set this is a new set and I use the largest one. It's A2 sized. You can see I already attached it to a black card base. And this is gonna, I know this is gonna be one of my favorite new sets. So now I'm just assembling this adorable pup. And oh my goodness, how adorable is this little ghost puppy? Now I did forget about the cute little trick or treat bucket. So I'll tuck that in there off camera. Um, and I cut that little bucket, the green part out of that shimmery panel with the distress spritz. Now I decided not to do a sentiment on this card. So I felt like I needed something more. Uh, this witch hat is from that booze cocktail set, the same, same one that I had cut from that black glitter for the other card. And here we are, and I just think this is adorable, and I didn't think it needed a sentiment uh, because it has all those sentiments already on there. All right, moving on to the second card, we are doing something that I do a lot. I'm just inking up the edges of this panel with some black soot distress ink, and it really just makes that middle part glow. And speaking of glowing, so we have that shimmery drink, thanks to the Distress Spritz. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue along the edges here to attach it to my little martini glass. I've already uh, attached the little witch's legs with the adorable boots. Um, now there is a Christmas set and I'm gonna actually use a piece from that Christmas set. So I'm just now gluing the glass onto the panel. I can't remember the name of the Christmas set, but I will put it at the top of the screen right about now because this little bow is from that set. All right, so I am attaching the bow here and now I'm adding a little skull in the middle. I just really love the bow. It's not very Halloween-ish, but you know, what can you do? All right, for the eyeballs, there's a die that cuts an eyeball, 
I decided to use these enamel stickers. Um, this is from the Monster Birthday Collection. And I thought it would just be cute to add something extra with those eyeballs. Now I added my little toothpick in there and now I'm just, I put glue on a piece of paper and I'm just running it under that little toothpick to get glue where I need it. And now I can just continue assembling, gluing on my hat. And now here's a sentiment from, from that cocktail uh, better press plate that I had showed you earlier. And here is the finished card. So there we are. Um, I This video is going by so fast and I'm getting lost with all the products, but <laughs> here we go. Here is the sneak peek. This is the Danson Moose Klondike. And oh my goodness, there are more Danson goodies that just came out. Now the background is the plaster 3D embossing folder. That's from Simon Hurley. And the sentiment at the bottom, you'll see that's from the All Seasons Winter Better Press Plate that I had foiled at the beginning of the video. Uh, you'll see more dancing goodies. You will see more of a lot of holiday cards coming up because there were so many amazing things that just released. I will have a link to the entire August release below as well as everything that I used in this video. Um, definitely check it out. And that is it for me today. Another kind of quick video for me. I really appreciate you being here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye.